Hi guys, welcome to Simplifying Tech and Programming. So in today's session, we are going to check how we can export data to external document that is a PDF document using Spring Boot application. So for this, I am referring my blog. So blog link is provided in the video description. So I'm explaining the very quickest and uh, very simplest way. So we are not including database and all. So we are just uh, creating Spring Boot project, writing some sample content into PDF into a very simplified format. So basically there is a often requirement that we need to export data from our web application or microservices to some external document that is a pdf excel or different format so here we are describing how we can export data from our spring boot application to a pdf file so we are using a open pdf library so there are multiple apis available in the market too like there is open pdf there is a itext pdf so in in this session we are using open pdf library and uh, Spring Boot for exporting data into PDF format from the microservice. So Open PDF is a basically it's an open source Java library for creating and modifying PDF documents. So we are going to demonstrate one simple scenario where a user calls a REST API to export the PDF data into application which process the request to create the sample PDF document along with a header body and paragraph. So let's start creating a spring boot project so by using spring tool suits we are creating one project and we are creating some rest files and we are calling that from the browser to generate the pdf okay so let's go to spring tool suit so here it is a spring tool suit so here just say create new spring starter project so here to add your project name that is a spring boot export pdf okay so description keep as the same group as a com dot stack then say next so here we need to add the dependency so select spring boot version as a 2.7.9 so i'm selecting older version because i have tested and verified uh, with this version then select we have to use the spring web uh, dependency so select that and say next say finished okay so our project is created now go to pom.xml and we need to add the library called as open pdf okay so select this dependency so go to dependencies and uh, just add here control shift f no okay okay so this is like uh, com.github.libre pdf so which is the provider for open pdf this is the latest version in 2023 so first we will try to create the controller class so let's say we have to create this pdf controller okay so right click here say new class type here the pdf class name and just package name as a controller controller and say let's, let's say finish okay so yeah so now let's copy this code paste it here okay so we need to import this dependency so just say ctrl shift o in order to import the packages okay so we have to select the java.util.date we need to create this class so that we will create later so i will explain so what we are doing here so here we are creating this class as a control uh, at the red controller so which will indicate the annotated class as a controller web controller so we need to write one service class and here like uh, we need to uh, write one method in order to create the pdf so this method will be called from browser with this uh, rest api endpoint that is open pdf export okay so here there is a gate mapping only because we are just calling this api observe here so in general so we are using set content type as application json or whatever is the output format that we are looking for so here we are writing this application slash pdf in order to generate the content into pdf then we need to generate one file name like uh, we need to have some file name to our generated pdf so for that like uh, we are taking one uh, date formatter and then we are taking one uh, variable in order to store the date okay so this is java.util.date then we need content disposition 
so what is content disposition so we we will tell this application to generate the output as a attachment or how we want to generate the response it, it is in, in into page or uh, it is a like attachment so here in the value so we are mentioning this as an attachment then uh, we are mentioning the naming convention for generating the file that is a pdf underscore current date time okay so in service class so we are implementing model that is a business logic required to generate the pdf so for now just save this and uh, go here and generate this service layer so first we need to create this class so new package name as a com.stack.service finish okay so copy this code let's say control shift o in order to import the packages so here it is asking for uh, the correct importing packages so we are using the first one that is a provided by open pdf that is a com dot logi dot text dot document so select this then again select this font okay so that's it so we are annotating this class as a service so this is the model class where we are implementing the business logic or we are mentioning we are telling the application that uh, how my pdf will look like okay so we are using this document so this is a generic document class so here all kind of text elements can be added as a html document so this is the document so we are mentioning the page size as a a4 then uh, we need this handler pdf writer dot get instance and then a response dot set output string okay so we are creating uh, the instance of uh, pdf writer in order to write the response then here we are telling this document to be open in order to write the content inside the document document dot open then uh, we have font header so like uh, we want to print like this pdf header okay so we are printing this as a bold bold for font and we are setting the size as a 22 okay now we need some paragraph value also like uh, so here like uh, we are creating one uh, paragraph object and here we are just uh, putting one message as a heading and then again we need this font header okay and we are telling to align uh, we are telling to application to set alignment as a center okay so now we are going so this is like uh, regarding the header part and uh, this is now regarding the paragraph part so these are the same objects we need to create but just we need to change the fonts so according to the paragraph so we are setting the size as a 14 and non bold font we are selecting okay so we need to add the content to this paragraph and set the alignment and again we need to add this uh, header and this paragraph to the document so here we are adding this and uh, after generation we are just closing this document so just save it come here and just we need to import this so just say import so we, what we are do, uh, doing here so we are just auto wiring this uh, service class in order to take the reference of this service class into controller class so here we are calling this method from this service class okay yeah so that's it so we need to gen we need to run this application okay so this is the spring boot application so go here spring boot uh, export pdf application right click on this and say run this application as a java application okay so our uh, spring boot application is started on port 8080 let's verify this so go to browser and just we need to paste this url okay so you can see this pdf is generated with this pdf underscore current date timestamp okay so let's click on this yeah so our pdf is uh, generated so this is a small pdf with the name pdf underscore current date time that we have provided uh, here 
so this is the simplest date new date and this is the paragraph this is the heading so that we have provided okay so now simply like uh, there is one small uh, like a change we can do so uh, we can generate the values into paragraph in the into the loop also so that like uh, it will be visible so go here into service class okay. so instead of pdf paragraph so we will print some values into the for loop so copy this here so just say control shift o in order to import the packages as a util date okay that's it so what we are doing here so we are taking one date formatter java util date formatter and uh, there is a for loop of 15 elements so we are just adding the paragraph of rows so row colon this i value and this time into sorry this time into util format okay so just restart this application okay so again our application is started on 8080 so let's verify this so go here close this previous one and just say enter again yeah so it is generated pdf so let's open this yeah that's it so we have provided 15 elements like this 15 elements and uh, row and current type so th this this way like uh, we can print the div, uh, multiple rows in the for loop so as per your data requirement so like this uh, we can generate the pdf in simplest way so we are just using two classes in order to create our pdf by using uh, open pdf api so in the subsequent session so we will see how we can pull data from database of mysql and how we can like show it into pdf or how we can download that data from database into pdf file so stay tuned for it and thanks a lot for watching